In this video, we're going to use Newton's method to approximate the root of a polynomial function or the solution of an algebraic equation. It says use Newton's method to approximate the solution to the equation 4 divided by x minus 6 equals x plus 2. Use x of 0 equals negative 1 as your starting value to find the approximate, approximation x2 rounded to the nearest thousandth. So, what is Newton's method? Newton's method is x of n plus 1 is equal to x of n minus f of xn over f prime of xn. So what we want to do first is we want to figure out what's the, what's the function here. We know x of 0 is negative 1, so we're going to write that out. x of 0 plus 1 is equal to x of 0 minus f of x0 over f prime of x0, which tells us that we have negative 1 minus f of negative 1 over f prime of negative 1. But we need to figure out what is f of x. Well, I'm going to subtract the x and the 2 over and rewrite this as f of x is equal to 4 over x minus 6 minus x minus 2. And then I'm going to take the derivative of this. So when I do that, well, before I do that, I'm going to say that, no, I'll do it right away. f prime of x is going to equal, I'm going to rewrite this piece. I'm going to write it over here. That'd be 4. If I bring the x minus 6 to the top, I'd have x minus 6 to the negative 1 power. So when I take the derivative of this, I would get negative 4, x minus 6 to the negative 2, times the derivative of the inside, which is x minus 6, uh, minus 1, and then derivative of negative 2 is constant. So I'm going to write that as equal to, this would be negative 4, over x minus 6 squared. Derivative of this is just 1, so it doesn't change anything. Minus 1. Now I'm going to plug both of these equations into the calculator. So we're going to write this as <laughs> 4 over x minus 6 minus x minus 2. It's one equation. And then I'm going to write for the derivative negative 4 over x minus 6 squared minus 1. And then I'm going to store negative 1. Store it as Yeah, negative 1 stored as x. And then plug some values in. So I get negative 11 over 7 for the first piece. And then the derivative, I get negative 53 over 49. So we're going to write this as negative 1 minus negative 11 over 7 over negative 53 over 49. So then I'm going to throw that in the calculator. I'm going to do negative 1 minus this number divided by this number. We get negative 130 over 53. So then I'm going to go ahead and do the second iteration. So what would the second iteration be? Let's get this as a decimal real quick, just for fun. Okay. So we're in a good spot. 
Let's go ahead and find the second iteration. So that'd be x1 plus 1 is equal to x2, no, x1 minus f of x1 over f prime of x1. Now, I don't feel like throwing all that into the, we know we just found this is x1, right? So this was x1. So we're going to put x1 right here. And that's the input for f and for f prime. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's store this as x. Grab the original function. Then grab the derivative. All right, we got two numbers there. So this is just going to be um, I don't know how important it is to write all this out, but this is going to be x1 is going to be negative 2.45 that we had earlier, minus, if I take this and say math to decimal, I get negative 0 0.0204 over negative 1.055. So I'm, I'm plugging this in the calculator. So I'm going to go back to the top, grabbing this, saying subtracting, and then I'm going to get this number. I'm going to divide it by this number here. And we get negative 2.472. And that's going to be x2, which is what they were asking us to find. That is the approximation for the solution for that equation.